All right, so I'm out here at First Energy Stadium with John Pettibone. John, uh, off to a little bit of a non uh, or an un Pettibone like start here in early going. Uh, just, um, you know, serving up a 351 batting average against early on. Just uh, let's talk about the, the, the lackluster performance here just uh, in early 2012. You know, I mean, just kind of getting a feel for everything uh, with, say, the new league, the new hitters. But, I mean, overall, like, I've had. I've had some good starts, and just a few things haven't gone my way, which might be evident in the, the stats shown. But uh, overall, I mean, I, I still feel pretty good. Uh, body feels great, which is a good thing. And then, uh, I mean, my slider's starting to come around, which is going to be definitely a, a plus later on uh, this season and then in my career, of course. But uh, I'm, I've always been like the contact pitcher, so pitching con to contact has uh, always allowed me to give up more hits than usual, so it's nothing uh, I'm too worried about, and I'm just going to continue to go out there and get my ground ball outs and go from there. Sounds good. Now, we've, we've spoken before, and uh, you know, you've made a reference to being a guy that likes to attack the zone. Just, um, you know, that, that's that's clearly a key for you. You're talking about pitching to contact and things like that. Just, um, you know, is, is that, you know, your, your main focus, and what else do you feel is, uh, you know, a key to your success? Well, I mean, yeah, definitely. Uh, Getting ahead of hitters is probably the biggest thing, uh, and, uh, and then uh, limiting the walks. But uh, majority was just pitching to contact, getting ahead, and then uh, kind of letting my do defense do uh, the rest of the work for me. Now you've gotten to uh, go up three levels, I guess, here with uh, you know the, the same uh, battery mate, Sebastian Valle. You guys, um, you know, kind of climbing the ladder together, uh, becoming. Uh, well-regarded prospects together. You know, is that advantageous to you and to him? And you know, for him to go up with a lot of the same group of guys on the staff, do you feel that's a you know a big advantage for you to kind of climb the ladder like that with him? I mean, I, I think it only helps us. Uh, I think we started well, even our first year at GCL, we were together, but we started throwing to each other on a consistent basis uh, in Williamsport in '09. So I think he he knows me just as well. As he knows all our other uh, our pitchers, so I think that's a, a definitely a benefit. And a catcher that knows you personally, I mean, it helps both on the field and off the field. Absolutely. And uh, you know, I remember you, you saying uh, you told me maybe a couple of years ago about your pitch repertoire: four seam fastball, change curve. Is that still the same menu right now? And what do you what would you consider your out pitch, and where have you made the best strides? Well, actually. Uh, I don't know when exactly when I talked to you, but now I'm throwing a slider instead of the curveball. Okay. And then I've added a uh, two-seam fastball, which has kind of uh, taken off in a good direction. Uh, I've been throwing that probably more, most consistently right now, uh, and it's turned into a really good uh, ground ball pitch, and that's kind of been my go-to. Um, a lot of people are very familiar with you and Trevor and Julio and a couple of the other guys. Um, uh, You've got you guys as a core, as a group, have, have developed the moniker, uh, the Baby Aces. Uh, how do you feel about something like that, where guys, you know, fans and media like kind of pay a, a close attention to you guys, and you know, you're, being that you're well well regarded to have that kind of nickname? I mean, yeah, it's definitely a good thing. Uh, it's kind of fun, like with all the the Philly fans so local here in Reading, that uh, kind of trickles down, and you kind of get the the atmosphere, the Philly atmosphere that uh, everyone talks about. Uh, Around the around the nation, and uh, but it's kind of a thing like we also joke around with uh, between us three. Kind of just think it's funny and go along with it. Is there a friendly rivalry there? Who's the best ace and things like that? Uh, I don't I don't think it's gone that far. I mean, we all have put up solid numbers throughout our careers, so we kind of all battle together and in it together, and kind of uh, want to see everyone do well, you know. You talked about you know getting that Philly vibe here, being close to home, uh, uh, Reading, Pennsylvania, for the Double A club here. Um, you know how you feel about the, the the town here, the fans, and is it a great difference uh, from Clearwater? Well, Clearwater, yes. Uh, last year in the Fourth State League, with all that weather and humidity, uh, kind of pushed most of the fans out out of the ballpark. But here, even with the cold weather, I've definitely seen a difference and. Excited for the warmer weather and bringing more fans into each each game and pitch in front of a, a good crowd.
And then just one last thing for you, and I appreciate the time very much. Um, just going back to that whole, uh, you know, Baby Ace's nickname and the high expectations for for you. Um, you know, where do you see yourself in a year, or maybe, uh, you know, just what, what's your what's your projection for the end of this year, and maybe into next year? Uh, I mean, definitely one of the biggest things is staying healthy. That's been the key throughout the, my career. Uh, staying healthy and lasting the the full season, uh, reaching my innings limit. Uh, which is always a plus and then you know I've kind of progressed uh, a year at a time each level so if that's the way it continues um, I'm all for it and if I end up here the rest of the year and have a good solid year stay healthy that's definitely a goal of mine and then continue to AAA next year. Sounds great Sean, thank you. Appreciate it. You got it.